What's going on guys? Hope you're well wherever you are, whatever the time and welcome back to another episode of Why Not Me. Today is Thursday the 14th of September which means I am three days out from my second show of the year. Three days out, that's all. So getting close, very very excited and that also means that I'm in peak week. So I thought that this would be a good chance for me to go over what I'm doing for peak week, how me and my coach are approaching it uh, and hopefully you can learn something from it and, and just understand my perspective on things. This isn't to say that you absolutely have to do a peaking process like this or, or like mine because that ultimately depends on your physique, your coach, your preferences, how much body fat you have, all that. There's too many variables, so each person is different. So what I'm saying today isn't necessarily gospel, it's just my experience and hopefully it brings the best look in three days. Also, before we go on, make sure to give this video a like and if you're new here, subscribe. The goal with this channel is to put natural bodybuilding even more on the map and grow it as much as possible and give as much free advice as I can to as many people as possible. I do also offer coaching, so if you are interested in that, make sure you click the links in the description below. Let's do it. So first things first, what the hell is a peak week? What is the rationale behind peaking for this show and a peak week in general. I kind of like to think of uh, a peak week and peaking as like the, the the icing dusting over the the cherry, over the already set icing, over the already baked cake. Like it's just an enhancement of already a, a finished product. Like with a peak week, we're, we're not looking to try and save the physique. The physique should already be ready. Not only are we kind of having those final little touches, but the goal is to also make me feel a little bit fresher on show day. And that's ultimately gonna help me with posing. It's gonna help me enjoy the day a lot more. I think it's also just gonna help me look a lot more confident on stage if I actually feel good, if I feel fresh. When it comes to a competition prep as well, yes, of course you need to be lean enough. And that's what the previous, like I've been dieting for like, down near 26, 27 weeks now. And the goal of that process has been to take off the body fat as that's been necessary to get me into stage condition. But you also want to bring a level of fullness. Fullness essentially means that you're looking to have those muscles kind of pumped up. And you know, when you just go to the gym, you've had a lot of water, you look in the mirror and you look like an IFBB pro. That's exactly the look that we're going for. It's a combination of that condition and the fullness, which is ultimately going to bring you your best look. And we're going to enhance that during this peak week. So please do not get it twisted. Like if my condition was not where it needed to be uh, for this show, we wouldn't be going through this process. It's literally just a case of, if, if you're too fat, it's just a case of getting that body fat off uh, and then being ready that way and then potentially taking a couple of days to increase food slightly, but you're not gonna have the chance to really go for a proper peaking process if you're not lean enough. So priority number one has to be actually getting in shape first. So the next thing I wanna get onto is how my training's changed during peak week and how that was all laid out. So I started my peak week on Sunday, which was a rest day for me. Um, but since that point from Monday all the way through and all the way through until my show, my training is gonna be pretty much normal. The only thing that's gonna be changing is the amount of volume that I've done on the session today, which was legs. So this leg session, I didn't bury myself and train to complete failure and blast my legs because what's that gonna to lead to? It's gonna to lead to a lot of fatigue, a lot of inflammation, uh, my legs will probably be sore as I'm walking on stage. Also with my training really throughout this week, I'm not looking to hit personal bests. I'm not looking to perform at my best ever because I don't want to get hurt. I do not want to get injured during peak week. It's just about being careful and not taking 50-50 reps. I've been watching a lot of Hunter Labrada lately and I was watching his um, vlog when he was preparing for Tampa. And he said the same thing, like just not taking 50-50 reps, assisted reps, just Training to the point where you're pretty much at failure and then just stopping, not going berserk and trying to prove you're the big dog in the gym. It, it's not necessary. That can wait until the off season. Damn, I hate saying this, but intensity has been toned down a little bit just to make sure I can actually make it to the show in one piece. On the Monday as well, I had legs, but that was a full volume session. Tuesday was push. Wednesday was a rest day. Thursday, as I said, the volume legs. Friday, it will be a rest day tomorrow. And then on Saturday, I'll be doing a pool workout, which will be full volume, still training pretty hard. And that's kind of just gonna fill the upper body up a little bit. And also, I was just having a discussion with my coach. We might do a few sets of leg extensions just to pump the legs up a little bit because for myself, my legs are a weaker point. They're a weaker body part. Especially when I diet, things like my quads, they just start to fade. So 
putting a little, a little bit of pump work the day before the show. Nothing too crazy, like I said, no triple drop sets and all that kind of stuff. Just a couple of sets, leaving a few reps in reserve on the, reps in reserve on the leg extension could help bring a bit more fullness to my physique on show day and specifically obviously to the to the quads next one i want to talk about is expenditure which includes cardio and steps throughout this peak week i haven't been doing cardio my last cardio session was on the sunday sunday morning i usually do my cardio on rest days which would be wednesday and friday i have done no cardio and i've also tapered down my steps a little bit as well and this is something that again like somebody who influences me a lot is john jewett and something that he implemented was kind of just dropping his cardio a lot and or i think completely getting rid of it and just utilizing steps just less pressure on the joints um less impact on the joints and again that can have an impact on your training and the look of your physique and the reason that we are keeping steps in there is just mainly to help with digestion because i am going to be taking in a little bit more food i think it's a good idea if you are ready and you're in a position to be able to peak your physique that you do begin to taper down your expenditure because ultimately it's going to help you feel a little bit fresher. I could literally speak about this all day. You have to give yourself enough time, especially in natural bodybuilding. You can't do these like 12, 14 week preps. You need to give yourself enough time to bring the best look because rushing a prep when you're natural, you haven't got the anabolics to do like these send it preps. Um, it's just going to go wrong. Give yourself enough time. But anyway, before I go off on a, on a tangent, and of course the segment that most people are probably interested in is what the hell am i doing with food i am doing something known as a progressive linear load essentially what this means is i taper up my food i also taper up my my salt or my sodium intake and i also taper up my water intake across the week and alongside that what we're doing is taking daily photos and checking in every single day to see what I look like as we begin to slowly fill my physique. So far, we've been pretty conservative with the amount of food that's gone in. So we started off by introducing a little bit more food on the Sunday where we put in 120 grams extra of carbs and an extra 10 grams of fat. On the Monday, we introduced a little bit more, Tuesday, a little bit more, Wednesday, a little bit more. And as those carbs are going up as well, we also increase sodium and water. Interestingly, we actually found that I was not drinking enough water and also my sodium was pretty low um, i do add like seasonings to my food and stuff but in terms of what i add to the meal once it's complete like salt it's, it wasn't a lot and we found that as the week has progressed here my look has just improved as salt and water has gone up which is which is great and over the course of this week my body weight has been pretty stable like it hasn't just shot up massively and i think that's because of obviously our conservative approach but also i think it's just a case of getting rid of some of the fatigue that's accumulated over the period of time that i've been dieting i'm not massively fuller but i am feeling fresher and, and good and i think the next couple of days so the friday and the saturday we're really going to load the carbs pretty aggressively because they're going to be going into a fresher physique rather than going into a physique that's tired and, and is not going to probably utilize those carbs as, as well as what they can be done can be utilized now so yeah on the friday and the saturday we're really going to be pushing the fullness a lot and then we'll go into the sunday where food will drop a little bit on show day i'll still be taking in some meals i believe because i'm in the heavier class or the taller class i'll be at the back end of the show so i will be having meals throughout the day probably about three meals before i step on stage but the meals will be a little bit smaller in volume and calories in comparison to obviously the higher days that i've been having just so that we have a little bit more control of the stomach the midsection i don't want a bloated stomach on stage alongside that as well sodium and water will be kept in on show day really important if you're natural do not cut water or sodium out of your diet that's a very very bad idea you will get very flat you need sodium and you need water to maintain that fullness i think this is a mistake that i made a couple of years ago in the finals where i just felt flat i remember pumping up backstage and I, there was just nothing i was lifting weights there was just no veins i couldn't contract muscle hard and that's because i not really had any water at any point during that day uh, and sodium was extremely low you can imagine that it would just result in a very poor look do not cut water and sodium out on show day that will be kept in but not to the point where i need to pee every five minutes because i don't want to need to pee on stage i think a lot of people forget like this these terms of like drying out and that kind of thing it kind of gives this idea that you don't need water when in actuality you do most of your muscle is water you are mostly water and for your body to 
go through proper function it needs water and that's it that is how i'm going to be running my peak week it's likely that we're going to be running the same technique going into the final shows of the year but obviously i'll be a little bit leaner a little bit more responsive so i'm excited to see how that goes down there are other peaking processes that you can do like back loads and front loading and uh, like rapid back loads and that kind of stuff but this is the one that i'm doing and that i'm going for if you have any questions leave a comment below as i said make sure you like the video and subscribe and i'll see you next time